your sect, your sect. Now get out. So, your big idea was a ginger beer stall. Jake, this was your handiwork, was it? Well, I had to head a Kawasaki over and he asked to see an example of British marketing strategy and I showed him this. What do you think he'd say? Since you're too dim to speak when prompted, I'll tell you, he'd say nothing. He's Japanese, they're a polite species. He'd look at it and simply stand there letting the shame hang silently in the air like a hot fart in a cold waiting room. Do you understand me? No, said the little boy from Thickington. Do you know where Thickington is? It's in Backwoodshire, twin with knucklehead on dunce. What I'm saying is, you're stupid. If you were beaming right now, I'd tell you to wipe it off your fat face, because even though he shat that out on his own volition, you're more to blame, if anything, for failing to intervene. Regular Johnny hands in pockets, aren't you? I suppose if your mum was drowning, you'd stand there and watch, would you? Eating peanuts and blowing off each time she choked down another neck full of pond. Well, the rat was a load of toot. What's the toffee like? Tastes like something left in a kettle after the Dresden firebombing. Did you brew this or find it in a jar outside a Welsh clinic? Let the customer keep the cup, did you? Do you know how much those cups cost me? Didn't factor that in. No, let Benevolent King Muggins pay the piper. Well, this ain't clear bloody cook bloody you land. You stunted jokes. You appalling, hairless little men. Shut it. Glue it shut, fold it over, roll it into a cone and work it up your dirt box. You're sect. And you're sect. You're both sect. Now get out. Send your parents in so I can have them both strangled. 